So this will hopefully be a short demo showing off some of the features of my new mod for collecting power armor. Just like in Fallout 76, you pick up the power armor by walking up to it and pressing the interaction button. For me, that's spacebar. You can do this for any unowned frame. If it is owned, you can identify that with the steal option instead of the enter. The collect option won't be there. After collecting it, you'll receive an item in the inventory named Power Armor Chassis. This can be renamed at the Armor Modification Workbench. If you have multiple suits, you'll want to pick them up one at a time and then rename them or they get stacked and you won't know which one you're renaming. You can drop them from your inventory and then pick them up one at a time to make that easier. Normally you would deploy the stored suit by equipping the chassis item from your inventory and then closing the pit point. Just like in Fallout 76, this will initiate a 60 second timer for automatic recall. If you venture too far away, that will also recall it. If you drop the chassis item from your inventory, the timer and distance checks are temporarily disabled. This can be useful if you want to put it on display or command a companion to enter the suit. If you enter the suit or use a power armor station to craft on it, then upon exiting the suit or the workbench, it will reinitiate the timer for recall. Once the chassis inventory item is renamed, that name is persistently tied to the collected frame it is associated with. By equip deploying or dropping the chassis item, that name will remain until you rename it again at a workbench. So now for some practical demonstration. We can deploy a chassis that we want to work on. Here I just equip it since I'll interact with the workbench right away. This will disable the timer while working on it. Alternatively, you could drop the chassis if you had things to do before starting your work so the timer won't get in the way. When I exit the workbench, there's now a 60 second recall timer active. You can place the chassis inventory items in containers, preferably at your settlements or other places that don't respawn the containers. The association of which chassis matches up to which real frame is retained. You can save and reload your game while it's stored in the container without fear that the parts will get messed up. So let me quickly close and restart the game here. As we can see, the names have remained on the chassis inventory items. When I pull them out of the container and then spawn the frames, we can see that the correct ones that match with the chassis being deployed appear. If you remember, I still have that suit over at the power armor station which has the recall timer running. 30 second warning just popped up. I can come over and manually collect it, which will stop the timer and give me back the associated inventory chassis item noted by our custom T60 name. As we make way back to the other frames and redeploy the T60, we start to see the timers for those come up. I'll just sit here for a bit to let those timers expire so you can see how that works.